Hey guys, I will start my guides of the new game. So once you're able to get it, you have a fast start. Today I want to focus on the shop. Look at the items. And the items are always have the same logic. First of all, there are three colors. Dark, dark blue, gray. These are very crap, I mean. And these are in battle enablers. Then green, these are the low tier items and blue which are the the more advanced uh, items in general the logic is always the same you have items that improve the infantry performance you start from a roman sword that gives you four points of infantry capability for 700 500 coins and it is gradually increased to plus 8 plus 12 and plus 15. again my reco save and go for the top uh, ones so buy the quality two-handed sword instead of five roman sword okay because eventually there are very limited slots in the generals and you have very limited generals you can use in battle so better few good items than a bunch of crap same logic for cavalry you start from the steel spike that in boost by four to the heavy lands nomadic saber and of course the Gallic Warhorse, which is a plus 15. So again, you should go for this one. Don't waste time with the steel spike. And for archery, the same. You start with the bamboo bow with the plus four up to the heavy crossbow, which is the fourth level. Okay, so for every item, there are four tier for the army. And then you have a couple of morale. The first low tier plus 10, the second plus 15. And for administration, so money, revenue generation, you have again two tier, the Notizia Dignitatum, plus 10, and the Enes Code, plus 15. Okay, so that concludes the green area. I skip the first, we can go quickly. These are all battle and answer. So this allows you to upgrade the melee or charging cavalry. This is the range infantry or range cavalry. These are uh, the heraldy helps uh, boost the general uh, rank and the general title. And this is for the special weapons. Then for the battle itself, with the war drum, is a bit like the medical kit. You can recover some troops, which is really some health, and the giant war drum, more health. So it's, it's almost double the price, but it's a better buy, I guess. And then the drawing, this is to draw war gear fragments. This part, I tell you, I don't know what it, what it is exactly. It's some sort of puzzle. Once you complete the puzzle, you get the weapon, I guess. And then you got the Cheval de Frise and the second one, the battery ram. So the first does a damage of a minus 10. So if you're attacked by the cavalry, you get 10% less damage. Instead, if uh, you use the battery ram, you ignore 20% of rampart ramp damage reduction. Again, uh, easy tech, your English is really terrible. Understand it's not your first language, but you are a big company. How about you hire someone, mother tongue, so that it's clearer what these things are. And then the siege tower, ignore 30% of rampart Rampart damage reduction. Very convoluted way to say that basically you do more damage in the rampart, which is the walls of the cities. Lastly, we go to the blue items. The blue items are the same as the green. So the refined imperial sword is very similar to the Roman sword. So the plus four gives you plus five. But on top of that, it comes with a skill bonus these improve general skill by one point. The problem is that this blue don't, don't cost coin, they cost metal, which are more rarer. And then the same logic, so you have the second tier sword that gives you plus 10 and an infantry expert level, the third the master of assault plus 15, and the fourth plus 20, plus armor piercing one. Okay, so they go the higher tier gives you also plus one on a higher skills because not skills not all skills are the same some are more appreciated 
Then the same for cavalry, you have four tiers, starting with the plus five, plus a skill, plus 10, 15, and plus 20 for the Nisian horse, which gives you also a cavalry tactician level plus one. And by the way, while I criticize, I also want to compliment uh, Easy Tech for the very thorough historical research. It's very nice to see, I like history, and, and so it's so nice to see all these high items, uh, uh, kings, generals, uh, weapons, everything with the real historical context. Well done. And then for archery, the same for tiers, starting from the basic to the very advanced steel crossbow that gives you a plus 20 and master of archery, which is the equivalent of uh, archery master in Great Conqueror. Then you get your morale, also you have two tier plus skill, and also you get administration two tier plus skill. Okay, so I think as an item strategy, ah, let me just finish this, then you get a, a couple of other uh, items. Well, sorry, you got the book of strategy that gives you 10% more damage, quite expensive, 400 medals, and, and a general skill and a book of tactics a plus 15 800 medals but plus 15 damage is quite uh, good uh, to have and then uh, this is a defensive unit minus defense plus 10 defense plus 15. honestly i would never buy items that boost defense i always buy items that boost attack so i really don't recommend to buy these two armor look at the price 860 it's a lot okay so this concludes uh, the, the shop review. Um, and again, the strategy is few items, go to the top, the highest tiers of uh, everything. Start with the cavalry and archery. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not and come back to the channel. We are over to almost 2000 videos coming on the game. Okay.